ZCAL is a plant science company from Ag Research with a passion for improving agricultural productivity. ZCAL vastly increases the yield and oil content of multiple crops. It's a technology that we've developed that enhances photosynthesis in plants and then also I guess the model on how we're looking to commercialise it. So we increase the CO2 assimilation by around 20 to 25 per cent which depending on the species increases the growth rate by 50 per cent or more. The advantage of ours for the New Zealand pastoral system is that it increases the metabolizable energy which is what then reduces the methane and it also um, reduces the nitrogen output so as urea and eventually nitrous oxide. The, the benefits to the farm would be things such as being able to reduce the amount of bought on feed, uh, there'll, there'll be a productivity increase and there'll also be reduction in some of the greenhouse gases. ZCAL's next generation biology is poised for impact on a global scale with significant returns flowing to New Zealand. It's um, almost a disruptive technology because it, it, you know, it could potentially you know, add billions of dollars to our GDP. So while we developed the technology for the New Zealand pastoral system, we've realised that the potential is actually to increase the photosynthetic capacity of the majority of human food crops. And we're going to need to actually increase our food production by roughly 50% by 2050 as we reach 9 billion people. And this includes rice, um, and all of the potato species. And um, it's sort of been a real uh, a bonus that it's actually applicable to so many different plant species. And this will help nations that are you know, developing to be able to meet their food needs. Capion Ventures have raised approximately $15 million for three separate companies commercialising the same technology. So New Zealand owns the IP globally for the pastoral crops. ZCAL was specifically designed to um, look at commercialising in row crops but anything that was relevant for New Zealand um, would be licensed back into New Zealand.